Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel now. Today I'm back with another Throne and Liberty video. I'm over here on the Korean servers and I wanted to do a little beginner's guide, a little video for you guys and girls who are new to the game. Maybe you've been playing the closed beta and maybe you were wondering what were these things in the corner. These are Abyssal Contract Tokens. Now, the reason that you need these is as you can see here, they can be used in Abyssal Contract Dungeons to acquire XP and Solent bonuses from the monsters and find dungeon only drops. So basically, what does that mean? That means that the, like this, for example, here is Silas Abyss. This is one of the first open world dungeons that you can visit. And I mean, just look at this. Look how amazing this looks, right? Um, somebody's actually just turned, they've just used the the rain ability that's another cool feature but anyway during the day you can come into this location here you can come in solo and um, or you can come in with your guild you can come in with a you know a party and what you do is you just simply come in here you grind you kill the mobs there's elites there's little bosses in here and as long as you have those 20,000 tokens as you can see in the corner on the top right you're able to get drops gold and xp so you just come in here just simply do what I'm doing here. Just go ahead, kill these things here. And as you can see on, um, as you can see here on the screen, sorry, there is many, many, many mobs to fight. Different types of mobs, harder mobs, weaker mobs, you, you name it. But as you can see, I've just gotten some gold. I've got, the XP you get is tiny. You don't get, you know, you don't get any XP really. So you can't come in here don't think you can come in here to farm to like level up you come in here specifically for drops and for gold and um and to have obviously oh and weapon mastery weapon mastery is another big reason to come here so if you click on your weapon um you can see here you have weapon mastery so you want to come and grind these dungeons to get gold the weapon mastery xp and of course rare dungeon drops now there is many of these um, and they have introduced these uh, contracts now uh, so you can see here this is for the sodoma island this is for this one that i'm in now silence abyss there's one for shadow crypt there's one for sanctum of desire so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just show you guys and girls a few of these open world dungeons so let's click on that i'm going to first of all teleport over to here sanctum of desire because this one is really 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 interesting the reason why it's interesting is because you cannot enter this one unless it's raining so you can see here it's raining this is why that player the high rank player that has the um rain ability they used it to open the doors because you cannot enter here without without that now this place is a high dungeon the mobs here are hard they're you know max level mobs basically um so don't come in here solo as you can see look the, the damage that you're doing is very 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 low depending on your build of course um but yeah don't just come in here thinking oh i'm a low level player i can solo you know solo these mobs because you're gonna be uh <laughs> you're gonna be in for a shock so yeah just quickly try and show you this but yeah, so as you can see, this one takes, if you're like a crossbow dagger, for example, you're probably going to be able to melt these a little bit quicker on your own. But that isn't the point. The point is just don't mistakenly come in here solo. Uh, I pulled another one. But yeah, you get the gist. This place is amazing. Only enter here if it's raining. If it turns into nighttime, um, PvP is enabled and these doors will shut. Um, and I'm going to go and show you a few of the other ones now. So we have Ant's Nest. Ant's Nest and Sanctum of Desire, they don't have a door. So whether it's nighttime or not, you can basically keep running in and out of here. As you can see here, it's literally a cave. So there's no door. So if it does turn nighttime and you're inside here, if you do die, you can actually respawn and come back. Um, unlike, like I said, unlike the ones with a door, if it's if it's nighttime and there's a door, then uh, you are you're not getting back basically. 
So again, bear that in mind. Nighttime, PvP is enabled. If there's a door, you're not getting back in. <laughs> so yeah, so this is one of the other ones where you can just freely come in and uh, go as you please. And I'll now go ahead and show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna go there, but Sodoma Island is literally an island and there is only one way to get in there. That There is an exploit way to get through, but they are obviously, you know, um, banning these exploits and stopping these exploits from happening. Because the reason how reason why is they want you to get on the Gigantrite, which is a massive flying well. This is a very very beautiful thing to to see. It it comes every couple of hours, every three hours to be exact, um, and it will spawn on the on the um, on the map. You have to go to a high location and fly onto it, and then you just you just take a long ride. It does take a while. It takes fifteen to twenty minutes. Um, but it is a beautiful sight to see, so you must do it if you're new to the game. If you're watching this um, in the future and the game has already come out in global, it's just released, then make sure you do this, guys and girls. But yeah, this is a, another open world dungeon. For this one, there is no door, So, but the, like I said, there is only a certain way to get on the island. So if you're on there and you die, you're not really going to bother going all the way back. Now, another one, which is always open. Uh, Shadow Crypt, another really, really cool dungeon. Again, no door. So if it is nighttime and you go in here and you die from, you know, from PvP, you can just freely walk back in and um, try your luck again. So yeah, it's very, very interesting, like the way that they decided, that NTSoft decided to do these um, open world dungeons, if you like, you know. Because instead of it just being an instanced, you know, six-man party dungeon, it brings something different, um, something new, you know. And the fact that you can farm these with your friends solo on your own, it really does not matter. I think, I think personally, it's pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and kill that guy. But yeah, so you can see here, getting lots of gold, getting minimal XP. But yeah, you can see. Lots of enemies around, lots of mobs to kill and try and get some decent drops from. And yeah, there is going to be one more. I'm going to take you guys and girls to one more. Um, so you, just so you can see it before it turns to night time. Again, this one is called, if I can uh, get my uh, bearings. This is the Temple of Slavith. Now I'm going to go ahead and teleport. If this guy could, if this mob could leave me alone, that'd be great. But yeah, guys, you can see here on the top right now, because I've been in there and I've killed a few mobs, my uh, tokens have gone down. Because, of, like I said, you need the tokens to be able to go, well, you don't need the tokens to be able to go in there, but you need the tokens if you want to farm the mobs and you want to get the gold and you want to get the drops. That's where you need, uh, you need the tokens. But just look at this. Look how I'm going to go ahead and do this. But just look at the atmosphere as you're walking down the stairs to this one. Absolutely amazing. It's so eerie. And the fact that it's been raining, it's foggy. But they have done such a fantastic job with the, with the graphics in this game. The game looks absolutely amazing. You know, the idea, the concept... I personally just think it's phenomenal. Really, really good. Really, really nice. Um, again, this game isn't going to be for everybody. Just like every game, every MMORPG and every game is not for everybody. That is fine. Don't worry about it, guys. It's a free-to-play game. It's going to be on console and PC. It doesn't matter. You can just try it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. So, yeah. So, you can see here. Beautiful place. Very, very eerie, and uh, yeah. There we have it. Very, very, very cool, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to do a little overview for you guys and girls. Um, so you could just see what are these open world dungeons, what were those coins for, and why do you even wish to, you know, adventure into these places and it's just purely for one for fun 
uh, to check out these new cool looking places. Two, it's to farm gold, which is, you, you're gonna need a lot of gold in this game when you're upgrading your gear and your skills. Trust me, hold on to as much gold as you can until you really, really need it. And three, you do have a chance of dropping specific dungeon drops where you can obviously either use them for yourself or you can go ahead and sell it on the marketplace and uh, hopefully sell it for some good loosen. So yeah, that's gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Like I said, just a very basic like beginner's guide on the open world dungeons. Got plenty more beginner's guide videos coming out very, very, very soon. So take care, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Peace.